In October 2003, the Anglo-French supersonic airliner Concorde took off for the last time carrying paying passengers, ending almost 30 years of service. Since then, plans for a replacement have come and gone, but conventional subsonic aircraft have dominated the skies, getting bigger like the new A380 Airbus rather than faster. But now a small British company has said it's ready to produce a new hyper-fast plane called the A2 using engines fueled by hydrogen that will span the globe in just four hours, flying more than twice as fast and carrying three times the payload of Concorde. It just wasn't big enough, there weren't enough passengers to actually pay for its operations properly. We hopefully have learned by those lessons. The A2, for example, carries three times as many passengers. Its engines have been designed so that uh, it's quiet on takeoff, it can cruise efficiently subsonically um, before going hypersonic over ocean areas. And uh, overall, the range is now global. It's not just a matter of can we make it across the Atlantic to America. This aeroplane can fly with range to spare right around the planet by an, a long ocean route to Australia from Europe and still have range at the other end. Five, four, three, two, one, run. The technological breakthrough that has allowed the development of the A2 hypersonic plane is the engine design which can operate like a conventional air-breathing jet at low altitudes and switch to the power of a rocket at the edge of space. Using supercooled hydrogen for fuel, the reaction engine can achieve speeds in excess of Mach 5, that's almost 4,000 miles an hour. We're in the process of building a team of uh, European aerospace uh, companies and we're about to start the next uh, stage of our programme and uh, for reaction engines this will involve uh, building a small uh, pre-cooler which is the key sort of new technology within the engine and running that in, in front of a small jet engine at our test site here at uh, Cullum. So that, that really is the sort of uh, key sort of next stage uh, in the technical program. It could be up to 25 years before the first hypersonic passenger planes go into service. But first, the research team has to convince the aviation industry and the politicians that superfast travel is achievable. Well, as usual, uh, with a lot of technology, it's largely a question of political will, uh, not technology. Uh, we uh, firmly are convinced that we've taken the technology to the, power, to the point where it is uh, viable. We're 100% convinced that it's uh, achievable. Uh, it's, the project has now reached a stage... Uh, where it needs uh, you know, a, a change of the sort of political climate that, uh, in order to bring it about. At the moment, the A2 only exists as a scale model, but its inventors hope that by the mid-2030s, they'll be as familiar in the skies as the jumbo jet.